Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Royal Highness of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa arrived today in Thailand and was received at the airport by the Thai King's representative as well as Deputy Prime Minister Admiral Narong Pipatanasai. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister today attended the 2017 Government Forum. The achievements of 2015 to 2018 Government Action Plan was reviewed to date as well as the policies of various government ministries and entities.
The Prime Minister issued a statement during the forum instructing government officials to build on the achievements delivered under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and emphasizing the government's commitment to overcoming challenges and driving forward further accomplishments. He stressed the importance of continuing to evaluate the performance and accountability of the government to ensure the best use of its capabilities, resources and potential and to be responsive and adapt to the development needs of the kingdom's citizens. The Premier also welcomed the role of the Crown Prince's initiatives to develop government efficiency and noted the importance of the government forum in this regard. He added that the prosperity of the nation and its people underpin all government's efforts. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also conveyed his appreciation to all government officials for their tireless efforts to serve the kingdom's development. In a separate statement, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince said that as the most important government event of the year, the forum represents a vital platform to ensure that Bahraini citizens remain at the heart of the kingdom's development efforts. He noted that the core themes of the 2017 forum, which are enhancing government collaboration and improving public services, are central elements of the kingdom's vision for the sustainable economy which supports the aspirations of of Bahrain citizens. His Royal Highness highlighted that government programs and, initi and initiatives are underpinned by Bahrain's economic vision of 2030, the kingdom's roadmap for a diversified economy led by His Majesty the King. He noted that the government's programs are generating tangible results, maximizing productivity and ensuring high standards of public services. The Crown Prince emphasized that, that the next phase of government development will focus on reinforcing forcing the kingdom's key sectors, including tourism, logistics, ICT, manufacturing and financial services, in order to ensure Bahrain continues to advance diversification efforts and increase growth. He concluded by reaffirming the government's commitment to delivering policies that contribute to the kingdom's development program, turning challenges into opportunities and supporting a modern, progressive economy which meets the aspirations of the kingdom's citizens. In an opening address, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa acknowledged the role of His Majesty the King in ensuring citizens' interests remain central to government policy. He noted that this commitment will form the foundation for the upcoming Government Action Plan 2019-2022, which will set the framework for sustainable development over the following four-year period. Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak confirmed that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister had ordered the formation of a commitment to identify opportunities to restructure areas of government to support the next phase of the kingdom's development. He also highlighted the ongoing success of the government executive committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in implementing the existing government's action plan and projects related to the national economy, social services, infrastructure and human development.
High-ranking officials from various sectors in government convened at the ISA Cultural Centre this morning to take part in the Government Forum 2017, which was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The forum provided a joint platform for government officials to come together in order to highlight and assess the government action plan. It's so critical at this point of time to gather all the efforts, to bring them into one coherent, aligned efforts towards serving the common dominator. Our common dominator is the customer. There is no doubt His Majesty, His Prime Minister, the, Deputy, the First Deputy Prime Minister, even all the Deputy Ministers, they focus on the citizen. The Government Forum is an excellent opportunity for us to exchange ideas and look at our achievement and what, what, are, what is the uh, future perspective. Speaking during the forum, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince outlined the government's upcoming priorities, including support for innovation and competitiveness, and the overall objective of enhancing the citizens' living standards based on the values of the Economic Vision 2030. He also shed light on the various successful initiatives that were launched thanks to the continuous collaboration between different government entities. This forum also uh, uh, explains a lot of, uh, of things to us within the government and to the public and explain also to everybody within, within, within the government that the government is, uh, is, uh, has started its uh, 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 a new uh, way of conducting business. The forum included three different plenary sessions in which a number of ministers and CEOs participated. These sessions focused on different aspects of government, including economic and financial outlook and infrastructure, services and the environment, and the role of legislation in government performance. I think it's very important to have a yearly meeting for the whole branch of government to sit together and, and determine uh, which direction that we are getting uh, in terms of uh, uh, having this uh, programs done and also to, to, to determine in the future how we are, um, we are going to work. It's also, uh, it's also a good means of communication between all branches of the government. You will see ministers, you will see undersecretaries, you will see uh, uh, directors that are working together. For the second year, the government forum continues to prove to be a successful melting pot for the exchange of expertise and ideas while celebrating milestones and achievements that meet the objectives set forth by the government. The Government Forum 2017 comes to reinforce the government's visions and objectives to achieve the best for the citizens of Bahrain. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim al Mtawa, gave a presentation concerning the government's work plan for the years 2019 and to 2022. He stated that the forum provides an important opportunity to review and assess the government's strategic goals and priorities built around understand addressing citizens' interests. Al Mtawa also noted that by identifying the future goals of sustainable development in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives, the government once again demonstrates its commitment to enabling a modern and dynamic economy that facilitates private sector growth and high-value opportunities. The minister also stated that this year's event has shed light on the extensive achievements made under the current Government Action Plan 2015-2018. to The forum reviewed the range of measures that followed last year's forum designed to drive growth across Bahrain's financial, infrastructure and public services sector. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, handed out awards during the government forum in recognition of the outstanding performance of several government departments. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Reaffirming the government's commitment to supporting programs that are generating tangible results, maximizing productivity and ensuring that high standards of public services are maintained to meet the aspirations of the Bahraini citizens. The 2017 Government Forum was used to review the achievements of the 2015-2018 to Government Action Plan to date and express appreciation to those who contributed to its success. Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism received the Customer Service Excellence Award for Customer Support via Tawasul. This award is in recognition for our speedy and efficient response to queries from the public 
uh, I would like to dedicate this award uh, to the team that has uh, worked very hard within the ministry on achieving this result, led by Lulwa Slebich here with me. I think they have done a magnif magnificent job. Uh, we were a very close second last year and, and it really broke our heart. So we took it upon ourselves to get the first uh, recognition this year. So congratulations to everyone. Uh, I'd like to keep up this track record, inshallah, with, with the rest of the team. Uh, and keep up the good work within the Ministry. Ministry of Housing received the Customer Service Excellence Award for customer support via Tawassul. I'm very happy today. Uh, uh, in fact, we, are, we have been awarded uh, this prize for, uh, for the second time. Yes, last year also we, uh, we were lucky to, to, to be awarded and this year is the second time. And we promise that we will continue to continue with the achievements and hopefully continue uh, receiving more awards. Ministry of Transport and Telecommunications received the Customer Service Excellence Award for customer support via Tawassul. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my staff because without them nothing will be achieved. Uh, I, have to, I have to admit that they have, they have uh, set a, a target for them. We won it last year and we know that we want to win it this year. So they have done fantastic work. Uh, a lot of work, uh, uh, creative work by them to make sure that we are uh, among those ministries that will be shortlisted for the award and we are pleased that we won it. Ministry of Health received the Government Best Practices Award. Happy, very happy, excited uh, and this has given us, uh, uh, we have to work more and more and to sustain uh, what we got. Uh, it's not just an uh, easy prize that we get. Uh, we have to uh, sustain this uh, for the future of uh, the Bahraini's health. Supreme Council for the Environment received the Government Best Practices Award. Proud on the Supreme Council for Environment for having this trophy today. And this is all wouldn't be happen if it was not because of the support and trust from His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid. Al Khalifa, the chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment, and the guidance of the, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, we managed to establish this office for the permissions of the chemicals getting in, into Bahrain. Um, we're so proud, and uh, this will motivate us more to do more, inshallah, in the next year. Moreover, General Directorate of Traffic received Government Best Practices Award. Al Rauda Primary Girls School received Educational Excellence Award for Outstanding Institutional Performance. And finally, Rab Al Adawiya Primary Girls School received the Educational Excellence Award for Outstanding Institutional Performance. The winning departments were so proud of their accomplishments, happy with the great recognition of their good work, yet challenged to maintain their places next year. The government demonstrates its commitment to sustaining outstanding performance and making sure it's well recognized and appreciated. Departments with excellent performance in 2017 are awarded today in the government forum. Reporting for Bahrain International, M. Heba Abdul Ghaffour. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Salah al Saleh, noted that holding the government forum 2017 reflects the keenness of the leadership to develop all services provided to citizens. He hailed the outcomes of the forum, highlighting the efforts exerted by the government to follow up its action plan. Al Saleh added that this initiative will develop the government's performance to achieve the economic vision of 2030. He also commended the cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities that aimed at further developing the kingdom. Upon the inauguration of Government Forum 2017, the Minister of Information Affairs Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi held a press conference in which he affirmed the importance of holding the forum, which brings together the leaders and decision makers in the government to review what had been achieved in the current government program. The minister reviewed the forum sessions and its goals to create a platform that brings together decision makers to discuss ex challenges and exchange views. Three discussion sessions were held concerning the economy, finances, infrastructure, services, environment, legislation and government performance.
Be personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Hassan Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited today Al Iman School Girls section. A number of officials from the Ministry of Education, members of the Executive Committee of the school's Board of Trustees and members of the school's educational and administrative authorities, as well as students, were at the forefront to receive His Highness Sheikh Nasser. Sheikh Nasser can the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Educational Adm Administrative Authorities at Al Iman School on the occasion of the school's winning first place in the Arab Reading Challenge, which was held under the patronage of the United Arab Emirates Vice President, Prime Minister, and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the unprecedented achievements which raised the kingdom's status higher among countries that are advanced in the educational field. He expressed their pride and pleasure in the success the schools achieved in the event, which was a result of the continuous efforts of the school's educational and administrative authorities. He affirmed that the need to continue efforts to make achievements and honor the kingdom in all events and competitions, stressing the need to work hard in the next edition to maintain the achievement. His Highness called the students to continue making honorable achievements as Bahraini women, he concluded by wishing them success, adding that His Highness's aspirations and confidence in the students' abilities had increased. The Commander of the Royal Guard and the Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the military team for winning third place in the individuals and teams categories in the World Military Championship for show jumping, the WMC, which was held in France. His Highness noted that the achievement reflects the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to sports in general and to the equestrian sport in particular. Sheikh Nasser praised the performance and skills of the team members. Raider Ahmed Mansour won third place in the championship, while the team that comprised of riders Khalil Hilal Al Khatri, Ahmed Mansour, and Sabr Salman Faraj also won third place. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, uh, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa honored the winners of the third Khalid bin Hamad Theater Award for National Clubs, Youth Centers and the Disabled. His Highness toured the exhibition and the Arts Gallery where 30 artists participated. He highlighted the goals of the award in showcasing the talents and creativity of Bahraini youth in all fields, affirming that this initiative came in support of the youth sector in all fields, specifically the cultural and humanitarian areas. He congratulated the winners and hailed their participation, noting that the number of participants reached 750. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of the organizing committee and their role in enhancing the status of the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Khalid received a commemorative gift from the Minister of Youth and Sports, Sheikh Hisham al -Jodar.
The third edition of the Khalid bin Hamad Theatre Festival for national clubs, youth centres and people with disability rolled down its curtains at the Maharag Model Youth Centre as the 18-day-long festival comes to an end. The festival, which is held annually, fulfilled its aim to empower Bahraini youth and to ensure their participation in the fields of arts and culture and humanitarian works. Um, it, it's a big impact. Uh, all the young people uh, can uh, participate and give their effort to uh, get all... Uh, all the best they have and uh, in, in all the fields like in um, maybe lightning, uh, actress, actors and all, all kind of uh, uh, stage performance. I'm sure they are all uh, happy to be part of this uh, big festival. This year's festival, which was held under the slogan Let's Plant a Smile, showcased 12 plays as well as three additional shows during the 18-day festival held with participation of national clubs and youth centers, participating teams, sponsors and notable personalities in the Bahraini art and cultural movement were honored during the ceremony. We are so, so glad to be here in this uh, festival for youth in Bahrain because it's so, so important to to give the, uh, uh, the youth the opportunity to express the, what we have uh, 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 together and as a work as a, a team. As a Gulf University, we support all these events here in Bahrain, especially uh, this event, uh, because it is very important for youth uh, and for the uh, Bahrainis. Today's finale proved that Bahrain has ultimate support from His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. We thank him very much for this opportunity. Several celebrities, re-owned actors, critics and top-ranking officials visited the festival and expressed their admiration of the entertaining performances by youth centers and clubs during the festival, which plays an important role towards the empowerment of the Bahraini community. And with that, the Sheikh Khalid Theatre Festival comes to a close, showcasing the success in the Kingdom's effort in utilizing the energies of the youth in artistic fields. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. As part of his patronage of the Theatre Award for the Youth, His Highness Sheikh Khalid also visited the facilities of Muharraq Model Youth Centre, accompanied by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodir. His Highness affirmed that the centre is considered a prominent destination for Bahraini youth in light of the leadership's keenness on providing the best services and the best environment to the youth. He also noted the keenness of the representative of His Majesty the King for charity work in youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on implementing the vision of the wise leadership. Sheikh Khalid praised the general facilities at the centre, directing the Youth and Sports Affairs Minister to provide all the necessary requirements for the youth at the centre. And the Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes the signing of a memorandum between the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the Prime Minister of Iraq, Dr. Haider Al Abadi, to establish a coordination council between the two countries. The Kingdom affirms that this step will further develop the relations between the two countries at all levels and reinforce joint Arab action to face the threats and challenges targeting the region. The Kingdom values of the outstanding efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques to enhance peace and stability in Arab and Islamic countries. It also reiterates its supporting stance towards all initiatives aiming at fulfilling the aspirations of progress and prosperity for all people.